Okay, so our first story might be possibly one of the most insane things I've ever heard in my entire life. At the same time, I don't understand any of it. So researchers have announced that they've simulated two minuscule black holes in a quantum computer, and they've transmitted a message between them through what amounts to a tunnel in space-time, a wormhole. So scientists have created a wormhole inside a quantum computer, and they've simulated two black holes and sent data from one to the other using this wormhole. Uh, they say that physical wormholes, sending things through physical wormholes, still remains in the realm of science fiction. But I guess they've done it in a simulation. I don't understand how you can do this. I don't understand the minds you need for this, but... I mean, let's read about it. If it looks like a duck, it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. So that's what we can say at this point. So I guess they did what they wanted to do. But uh, I mean, okay. Caltech phys physicist Maria Sp Spiralupulu, uh, a co-author of the research. Did, uh, let's see here. A baby wormhole and now hopes to make the adult wormholes and toddler wormholes step by step. The wormhole dynamics were observed on a quantum device at Google called the Sycamore Quantum Processor. Um, I'd say this doesn't teach us anything about quantum gravity that we didn't already know. On the other hand, I think it's exciting as a technical achievement because if we can do... If, if we can't even do this, then simulating more interesting quantum gravity theories would certainly be off the table. Okay, I get what it's saying now. So my view is like... I think what scientists are saying is, hey, look, okay, we've simulated these black holes. We've simulated sending data, you know, through this wormhole in this computer. And I think what they're saying is like, you know, yes, phys we can't do this in the physical world yet. But if we couldn't do this in a simulation, then there'd be no chance that we can do this in a physical world. So it's like basically like, you know, proving that this actually is a thing that can exist, I think helps them maybe sell the idea later on or even try to... Uh, you know, prove the theory about physical objects. So all in all, very cool. I mean, they say, so don't hold your breath about sending your dog through the wormhole, but you got to start somewhere. Exactly. I mean, I think this is amazing. I think this is like, I mean, what, what's crazy is Einstein, right? Einstein is what's crazy. Einstein's theory of general relativity. Such wormholes are still consistent with Einstein's th theory of general relativity. I mean, I'm the kind of guy when I, when I'm thinking about science and I'm thinking about all that stuff is, you know, I tend to think that nothing we know currently or nothing we ever really know at any time will ever be true in the grand sense of the universe, right? Like science is always improving. So nothing, you know, is ever right except for what, you know, e each iteration gets better. And that's what science is all about, right? So for these to fit within Einstein's theory of general relativity is like, okay, but at the same time, I don't know anything about science. Don't get me wrong or physics or anything. But it's only a matter of time before we prove that bad boy wrong, guaranteed. And I believe, I mean, what was Einstein into? He was into quantum physics by the end of his uh, life, was he not? So, I mean, I mean, I don't want to be like uh, Einstein's wrong kind of guy, but <laughs> but you never know, guys. You never know uh, what happens with science in the future. Anyways, it's a weird way to end this segment, but I think this is a very cool thing. I think the future of science is getting crazy. The future of computing is getting crazy. I mean, here's a little side note. I don't know if you guys are into cryptocurrency or Bitcoin or whatever, but the way that Bitcoin works, right, is that it uses, you know, a computer needs to solve an equation. But what happens, and, and whatever, long story short, that keeps it safe. But what happens when the computers become quantum computers? Like if a computer can, you know, if we're using quantum computers that are technically, um, making black holes and like simulating wormholes and stuff like could could they not those same computers could they not you know solve these bitcoin things very quickly and you know destroy blockchains because it's like was the blockchain technology built to withstand computers anyways this is not space news anymore now we're getting into tangents guys but uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Like, is this worthwhile doing these simulations? Should scientists do this? And also let me know uh, what you think about the whole Bitcoin thing, if you want. Um, is Bitcoin going to get cracked by, like, these types of uh, computers? I mean, let me know, guys.